is this the only course that deals with emergency pain? Uh, so it's not necessarily, um, I'm not sure what you mean by emergency, but there are definitely pain techniques when people have pain in an instant. Like I was, um, I was talking to an uh, instructor. I also have Dr. Uh, Leaf, who's one of the original people that was, it was like Goodhart's son, literally. That's what Goodhart told him. You're like my son. And he's been doing this for, gosh, almost 50 years now. And he had a pain where I think he had broken his leg. And they were saying, we might have to remove your leg. It's in such bad shape. And so he got, I'll, I'll give you a tip here. He got on liver eight. Liver eight is the most common pain relief point when someone's in an emergency. And it's on the inside of your knee, about halfway between the front and the back, just towards the bottom. L liver eight is a great point. Though, um, back to the emergency pain. Well, sometimes when someone has a, a, a pain that is in, intense, um, there are other points like neural lymphatics. Like I've had people with headaches where if you rub the neural lymphatics for liver, especially if it's a one-sided headache, according, along with liver eight, by the way, usually, I've gotten headaches in like 30 seconds as well, my headache's gone. You know, ileocecal valve, that's another thing uh, for you that have done the structural course. So there's a lot of things and there's the emergency, um, not emergency mode, but the pain, uh, the technique where you use the head, you've probably seen that. It's in my structural class one, that is for um, clearing the uh, memory of pain neurologically. So there's a lot of different pain techniques in all of our courses, but in this course, you learn techniques that clear pain along a meridian pathway. You learn how to balance every point on a meridian, which has phenomenal results. I had a man who was dying. They thought I should send him to hospice. Instead, he came to me. And that was about, I think, seven years ago. And now I, I spoke with him last month and he's still vitally healthy because I did that technique that I teach of balancing every point along a meridian. So that's a great technique. There's also, I mentioned pain tapping. You can find out what specific point to tap for pain. There's also the points on the face. For you that know the beginning and end points, you can muscle test to find out which point clears a problem. So in other words, per person can touch on the pain, like say it's on their elbow, and then you, uh, you have a say, or you can touch the elbow, whatever. You bring, you have a, a weak muscle from that. You can either put that in circuit by having a person separate their feet 18 inches apart and they don't have to touch it anymore, or just keep touching it. You got a weak muscle, and you touch the various beginning and end points on the face. And the one that goes strong is the point that will help clear the pain. So there's another tip for you, but we cover a lot of different pain relief techniques. Now, in addition to the meridians, we also cover the auric fields. Now the auric fields, back to the quote from Einstein, he said, it's the field, the energy field that governs matter. So in general, Western medicine doesn't look at the field. You know, Eastern medicine certainly does, but we have ways of muscle testing to find out where the block is in the energy field. And then there's methods we show you how to clear that blockage. And I've had people, one woman had severe knee pain or hip pain and was told by her doctor, oh, you need a hip, knee, a hip replacement. Well, I found out it's in the field. So I did a clearing on her in the energy field. And in that session, she says, oh my God, the pain totally went away and never came back. There's also like phantom limb pain where their limb is not there anymore, but they still have pain where the limb was. Well, there's ways of clearing that because you clear the field. So those are uh, some more things. Now, I know Juanita, you mentioned um, you'd had some, some challenges with the uh, Tibetan figure eights. Well, just know there's a lot of techniques we're gonna teach you in this course. You don't have to use every one of these techniques. You find, well, I like that technique and I like that technique and this works great for me. And this one I didn't quite get. I mean, I've studied thousands of techniques over the years. I don't use thousands. I have my toolbox, which is basically what I'm teaching you is the things I use in my sessions that work for me. 
So don't feel like, well, I can't take the course if I don't like that technique or this technique. These are, these are techniques. Some people say, oh, well, um, this doesn't align with my religion or whatever. Well, this is science. This is not, this are methods. They're scientific methods. And some people misunderstand them and say, oh, that doesn't align with my religious beliefs. Well, John Fee was a born again Christian who developed Touch for Health. And we've had many people from all different faiths do this work and get phenomenal results. Um, and so being aware that if there's something that doesn't quite jive with you in the course, well, you don't have to do that. Like we also get into chakras. Chakras are basically energy centers at nerve plexuses. So there's a neurological uh, input to them, but there's also, it affects your emotions. So when your chakras are balanced, you feel good emotionally. And they also affect your energy in terms of accomplishing things. Like there's one chakra where I was working on a woman the other day and she was feeling stuck in her life. Just, I'm not moving forward. I'm not getting progress. So I checked and sure enough, her uh, solar plexus chakra, which has the affirmation, I can, was blocked. So I, I had her hold her arm up and say, and I found that by the, the testing we show you how to do. And then I said, okay, say I can. And then she said, I can, and she went weak. So I cleared the chakra. And then I, um, we, we had her do all these, we show you various ways of clearing the chakra. And then she called me yesterday, last night, and she was so excited. She's got all these things lined up now that she feels finally I'm moving forward in my life and is so excited after we cleared that chakra. So things happen in your life, manifest in, in ways that often wouldn't otherwise. In fact, see, you are an energy field of attraction and you are either attracting problems to yourself or you're attracting opportunities and love and, and beauty in your life. And so you really need to tune up this energy body to be a attractor field for positivity. You know how some people, they just get stuck in negativity and it's just one thing after another. Well, when you clear the energy in their chakras, in their meridians, and you balance them, you can even balance for goals of things they wanna manifest, like financial or uh, places to live or relationships. You know, We have people that have, have gotten their, their soulmate, you know, just through balancing, you know, so it's a, it's an inner game that we're showing you how to do. So the chakras are powerful physically. They affect your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your spiritual body. So that's another great aspect of this course. In the checklist here, this is something you would use with clients. We show you how you can go down and do a protocol, and you'll see here, you can um, check, um, there's another thing called an umbilical reversal we show you how to clear. That's where people get stuck in making bad mistakes and bad decisions in the areas of health, finance, and relationships. And often when people clear that, they go, wow, I just shifted my whole life. And I'm not making those dumb decisions anymore. So energy is at the core of everything. In fact, when you boil it down, everything's energy. This matter is just slowed down energy. Everything's frequency. So we also get into the frequencies of sound and how you can balance with sound. Dr. Deal says that sound is the highest form of healing because it affects all the bodies, the physical, the etheric, you know, the meridians. And you can take and find a, um, we have certain notes we show you how to find where when you, you find all these blockages on the body and then you play the sound frequency that's correct for balancing that energy field, everything strengthens. So, um, you know, various, listening to various music. In fact, they find a lot of the, the symphony conductors, they live long, long lives where the gangster rappers, they don't live so long. <laughs> you know? So it's all about vibration. Now, along with that, color is a field of vibration. So we show you in the course how you can balance with color. For me, um, I used to do this when I'd walk my dog. Unfortunately, the apartment I live in, I, I can't have a dog, but we have a dog in Hawaii at my home there. And uh, it's a cute little puppy that um, my daughter is just loving. I can't wait to get out there and see her. Her name's Nala. 
And so when I would go out, I'd figure, I, we show you how to muscle test yourself too. So I, I would check the morning what chakra was out of balance. And then I'd wear the color glasses for that chakra for 20 minutes to go walk my dog. So we give you a lot of self-help techniques. And that's another F emphasis I want to make in this. Because when you're studying this, you want to apply everything to yourself and your own life. So you, you'll learn how to do self-testing and then how to, to find the points. In fact, I did that this morning. I wear these uh, energy patches and I was testing a point on me and I went swaying back when I touched the point. And then I, I have these little patches and I put the patch that, uh, that would uh, make it go forward, meaning, oh, that's giving me energy. So I, I do that all the time. I'm testing myself every day for various energy frequencies to keep me in peak performance and peak health to live a longer, healthier life. That's what it's about.